The basic model Adobe uses is very simple. What they do is firstly make Flash Player free to everyone so that people will download it. Developers build content in Flash after paying Adobe for the software and licenses. In order to view Flash content you need Flash. So developers publishing content in Flash is in itself an advertisement for Flash which leads more people to get Flash. As more people get Flash, more developers want to use Flash. We have a sort of cycle going on here. Let's look at this Flash cycle. Basically, developers build in Flash. In order to view the content, you need to get Flash, and because Flash is free, people are happy to download it. Now that more people have Flash, developers want to build in Flash. However, this new content can only be viewed with the software, so people who view the content without Flash will likely get it because they won't cost them anything. It's free. If you run this cycle several times, you should see why it is that Flash is such a powerful business for Adobe. When we put all this together, what we're going to get is network effects. Now, the more people that download Flash, the more valuable the product becomes. It's like the telephone. If you're the third person to own the telephone, owning a telephone is not hugely valuable because you may not even know the other two people. Whereas if you're the hundred millionth person to get a telephone, the telephone is very valuable because you can speak to, well, a hundred million minus one people. Eventually, this product's going to hit a critical mass. So there reaches a point at which it's very difficult to use the internet without having Adobe Flash Player. Just as, as an experiment, you could turn off Adobe Flash for a week and you would find using the internet extremely annoying. This is explained through a thing called Metcalfe's Law. If you're very interested, you can look this up. Essentially, it says that the value of such a product is proportional to the square of the number of users. So it's very interesting, so you could look into that if you want to know more about network effects. You also have high barriers to entry, which results in pricing power. The thing is, it's difficult to compete with Adobe Flash, which results in customer captivity, and we've reached a point where Flash is built into operating systems. All of these three things is combining to give us the pricing power on the developer side because everybody has got Flash so to talk to these people you're gonna have to buy the products from Adobe. So where's the actual money coming from? <laughs> yeah, basically show me the money said Adobe to the developer. It's the developers that are paying for the development of Flash for us to use. So Adobe is making all of their money from these developers. It sells related products such as their creative suite, training products. You've got things like Adobe Flash Professional, which is itself part of the creative suite, but you can get it on its own. So they've built the infrastructure for Flash by giving it away free, and then they're selling to the developers. So fundamentally, this is the model that Adobe uses builds a network with free software. If you had to put in your credit card details to download Adobe Flash Player and pay 10 bucks or whatever, not many people would bother getting it and someone else would come along, do it for free and use this model. So this is really the only viable model for such a software because you need millions and millions and millions of users, otherwise it's not got any value. That's the network effects. So the next step is it dominates the market this results in customer captivity, um, which basically means that without Adobe, without building things in Adobe, it's going to be very difficult to convey that content to your visitors to your site. You don't really have much choice in the matter. You're going to have to use Flash if you want to develop the things that run Flash. And then it goes on to sell a large volume of software to developers. So there you have it, that's how Adobe makes money from Flash and it makes a lot of money. It's a very pr profitable product. So thank you for watching.